What you making? Pasties. She uh, made this pie crust, mm -hmm. right? That's what it is, right? Yeah. Pie crust. We can put a, a description of how to make it down below, but this is your mom's pie crust recipe, right? Yeah. And she also made this um, ground beef, peas and carrots, potato mixture. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys know what pasties are. I didn't know what pasties were before I met her, <laughs> before she made them for me a few months ago. But basically you just make little circles of, we can use this to cut them out, make little circles of pie crust and put this stuff in it. And ta-da, you're done. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I guess. I mean, you should cook them. Yeah, then you, then you cook, them, you cook them in the oven. Because the potatoes are raw and the carrots and peas are frozen, so... Yeah, put them in the oven also. That is a thing you should also do. Is pie crust more difficult to roll than... Like tortilla dough? Oh no, it's non -dough. way easier. Okay. It's just a little stiff because I've had it in the fridge. Yeah. But that's okay. It's seriously so easy to roll. You know, we just made it in the food processor and... Oh my gosh. We didn't have the food processor last time I made these. And I made all the crust by hand. Plus I made way too much of this. I think I made too much again. There's no measurements, mother. <laughs> in the recipe at all. It just says, like literally, it says brown the brown beef put in, or ground, brown ground hamburger or whatever, put in frozen potatoes, peas and carrots, and broth, and put it in pie crust and bake it. It doesn't even tell you what temperature to bake it at. It doesn't tell you anything, so. Last time we had, we made so much that it lasted for weeks, literally. And we didn't eat it for every single meal. Literally. Yeah, obviously we didn't eat it every single night for weeks, but like it lasted us for, we put it in the freezer, and just she would just make more pie crust to go along with it every time we wanted to make it. It was ridiculous. It, it tasted good throughout the entire time. I mean, it got progressively less and less as good as it is when you make it, fr make it fresh, but yeah. Yeah. There's, there's probably still quite a lot there, but it's all right. We're good. So you just put it in a little circle like that and smoosh it in there. And then, could you get me a knife? Yes. There you go. And then you just slip the top and put it on the thing. Perfect. Welcome to Sunday, by the way. We, uh, we spent all day kind of, well, every six months our church does like a broadcast thing that everyone in the church like sits and watches and stuff. And it was yesterday. We kind of missed yesterday's. We'll have to watch it at a different point. But today we watched today's. And while we were doing that, I kind of cleaned up the kitchen a bunch. It's kind of messy now because Giselle was making this, but it's really not that messy. It's like, it's just stuff that we need to put away, that's all. But I cleaned up, but I like cleaned up everything that really needed to be cleaned up. Cleaned off the table and Giselle has been working on stuff in here. She kind of started to, what's the program we used for, we're kind of cataloging our books to like, so we always know what books we have. She's only done one shelf so far, not the whole case. She's only done one shelf on one case so far, just to kind of test out program that you found. What's the program called? It's called Collections and they have, okay, so they have like individual ones so if you want it for action figures or for whatever, just random stuff, whatever you want it for that you collect, it has an app for each one but then it has one called Collections that has all of them together but the thing is I, it's like if you do that one you can't really edit stuff but if you use if you use the collections one, you can edit whatever you want, but you can only choose one thing to do, so like books or movies or whatever. So we obviously chose books, and then you can like edit the picture, so if the picture in there for some reason doesn't have the picture cover of the book that you have, because sometimes that happens, then you can very easily just go in there and take a picture of the book or find one online that is your correct cover, so that's really nice and helpful. And you can edit stuff if you use the collections app rather than just like the books app for it. So that's that's why I'm using that. And then I was just testing that both of our phones accepted it. I wasn't sure if they had it on the Android store. What is that called? Google store, I guess. Yeah. Because I've used it on my Apple before, but I didn't know if he, he it would even work on his phone. So it does. So now we'll just be able to, whenever we buy books, just stick it in there and then always know what we have. Yeah, it'll be a good way to keep track of what we're buying and what, what we have at all, at all times. So yeah. we, if we ever don't know if we have something or not, then we can get it. That's especially difficult, I feel like, with our Mercedes Lackey books because we just tend a lot to of, forget. A lot of our fantasy series that we have, we just tend to forget which ones we have in the series. Yeah, we're like, oh, shoot, or different yeah. things like that. So I did the Harry Potter shelf, but we have a couple more books to add on to there because we are slowly buying 
editions of them whenever we find them that we don't have already or extra ha hardback editions of the books because it's and paperback versions Every, yeah. extra hardbacks and extra paperbacks just because we don't want our kids using our original versions yeah it's like so as if we see them for like a dollar somewhere or 50 cents somewhere then we might as well just pick them up now and I know like People would argue that, that, like, storage is more important, but, like, seriously, this is just the easiest way for us to do it. Plus, we're not going to spend, like, $100 on a full hardback set for each of our kids, because mm -hmm. that's not going to happen, so. But yeah. we want them each to have their own set, so this this works. And then since the kids are so far off and not going to happen anytime soon, we can, we can start collecting now, and we'll be finished by the time they need them, so. Yeah, we, we kind of have a lot of books kind of sitting around right now that... Like these are all the books that I have gotten from publishers recently. A whole bag of books in here from yesterday that we uh, haven't done anything with, obviously. And then everything we got last weekend is still in Giselle's room at the house. We kind of still need to, we need to like catalog all that stuff. We need to book haul, we need to do hauls for all that stuff, actually. And then we need to put it all on our various shelves, both, both where she is and here. And then catalog everything. It will be a good way to actually see how many books we have, too, for now. Because then there's all the books that Giselle has in California that yeah. we are not categorized in the slightest yet, and we don't even know what they are. So and another thing that we did that I'm really happy about is I've had these clothes just kind of piled up. I'm really bad at putting clothes away. <laughs> there's a clo this giant pile of clothes in front of my closet over here for the longest time. And it's officially cleared. Nothing on the floor. I can finally close this door. We, we store a lot of stuff under our bed, so that's why that's there. But anyway... That makes me happy. And then later tonight, I still need to I need to work out today, and I need to film lots and lots of Wind Waker. I've gotten really, we both gotten really positive responses on our Let's Play so far, which is thank you guys for that. Hope you guys are, are watching them and enjoying them, because it's all been positive feedback so far, which is really nice. It makes me really happy. But I need to, I really need to get lots and lots of Wind Waker done and recorded tonight. Hopefully before I go to bed and whatnot, but this pasties thing is kind of a kind of a thing that Giselle has been doing for a while with her family. Yeah, it's like whenever our church has this broadcast, it's tradition. My mom used to make these because we used to go to the church to see it broadcasted there, so my mom would make these and during one of the sessions and then like the next day take them, or not during one of the sessions, but like the night or whatever, and then take them and we'd eat them as like kind of a picnic thing and it was really fun and I have a lot of memories of that of like e eating these in between the different stuff and so I have uh, started making them and I want this to be our tradition because I absolutely love it and then they're kind of special because you only have them twice a year and then it's like the food for that time of year so it's yeah nice. especially it's especially special if you get to eat it for several weeks or probably because you make too much it's <laughs> That won't happen this time. We'll get better and better at gauging how much to make. I just, I don't know. It's hard when you don't have, like, any reference at all. Like, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't say anything. So, I'm like, I don't know. But now that these are done, I'm going to bake it at 350. And I hope that's a good amount. I don't know. So, I'm just going to put them in. Oh, and you stab this one. Stab all of them. Yeah. Got to... Gotta it's, stab it all. It's aesthetics plus the steam is escaping, so you need at least one. You don't need three, but I do three because I think it looks cute. <laughs> Very important, obviously. And yeah. voila! They're done. Woo. This batch is done anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this batch in real quickly. How is it? Really hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that happens when they just come out of the oven. So these ones took a little while to cook. Uh, we're not sure exactly why. We might pump the temperature, temperature up, but we don't want the insides not to cook. So we'll yeah. see. There's a little bit more salt. Pastries were really good. And then something else Giselle was working on earlier. This is my craft. So I, I made two different crowns. I have a lot of different flowers and colors to make them, but. Yeah, you can see them all. Right there. They're really fun, and they're really easy, and this one was my first one, and it was kind of wonky. I used the pink flowers because I didn't figure pink was something I, was, I would wear as much. Then I made the cream one, and I like how it turned out a lot better, and I used more flowers and everything. And I'm probably just going to wear it like, like a headband like this. 
and I think it's really fun and really big and ridiculous. My hair looks kind of gross right now, so it's not exactly the best example, but it's so fun. So the flowers came from the Dollar Tree, and everything came from the Dollar Tree except for the ribbon itself, which I needed the ribbon to go around because the band itself was ugly, but it worked well. And this was inspired by giving credit where credit is due by Tash... Tash... Tashopolis? Tashopolis? Is that how you say her name? I don't know. She's a booktuber and her friend made her them all fairy crowns, floral fairy type crowns. And I made mine different than hers, but like it triggered it. I was like, oh, those are so pretty. I need them in my life. And so like the next day I went to the Dollar Tree and bought all the stuff for it. So anyway, it's so fun and large. So. I like it. It's funny. Yeah, I haven't, see, I have my bobby pin on here holding the ribbon, so I need to either glue it down or sew it down or something, but Chris can't find his glue gun, so. Anyway, and then this one's just kind of loose. But I did burn the end so that it wouldn't fray. I just, like, p took a match to it, and it helped a lot, so. So this is the base wire, and I just used this to, like, make the circle the size of my head, and then where they wrapped around each other and connected is where I put the flowers in. So... Since these, I feel like have a really big, like stem right here, and would kind of they kind of were sticking up ridiculously. Like this one, they stick up a lot more. And so what I did is I just fed this straight through the middle until it came all the way out. And then I just took this end and like curled it around. So I like I took the pliers and put them straight in, and then just twisted it a bunch until there was like a big knob in there, which you can see right here. And then I just pulled that down and wrapped it around and that's how it worked and it worked much better than the first one where I like left some of the wire up but the wire from the Dollar Tree ones especially are like super crappy and they fall apart really easily and break in half really easily and stuff so yeah I got this from the Dollar Tree this from the Dollar Tree all my flowers from the Dollar Tree and then I just needed to go to Michael's for the ribbon itself so I'm really happy with it though I think it's that's really fun and I'm gonna I have big flowers on my head now. I'm really excited to make the red ones. And then I got these from Michael's actually, cause they were only a dollar. And so I got two of them so I can make like a bunch of them. I think it's gonna be really pretty. So I'm excited. I'm probably gonna wear these in, if they haven't fallen apart. And if I still like them, I'll probably wear them in California on like our honeymoon and stuff. Like walking around in beachy type areas and stuff. I think it'll be fun. So they're so springy though and enjoyable. Anyway, we found all the Chris's <laughs> glue sticks because he has a giant, ridiculously huge bag full of them, but we couldn't find the glue gun. So, and I'm really excessive and got like one of every color, but I just like them all so much. I don't like any of the flowers they have there except for the roses. I feel like the roses are the only ones that look even decently passable. So I got purple, yellow, and then I did get these because I thought they were pretty cute. These yellow, black, red, white, which I already used some of these ones. Like this one's missing one right here to go on that white one. And then this I got from Michaels as well. Yay! Anyway, I think that's it for today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>